Good evening, Facebook friends and YouTube followers. This is Switch again, back for your third and final video blog of the night for August 5th, 2014, Tuesday night around 8.30 in Bellarica, Massachusetts. The sun's going down. Some news to report. The supermarket chain Wegmans is opening up a, a new location in Burlington, Massachusetts. The opening day will be Sunday, October 26th. Wegmans is a supermarket chain based in the mid-Atlantic area of the United States, expanding into New England. They have one in North Bowl, Massachusetts, Chestnut Hill, opening up in in Burlington, and there's some plan for Fenway Park area of Boston and Westwood, Westwood, Massachusetts, within the coming years. Um, Wegmans is a good chain with low prices and great service. They might give Market Basket a run for its money, provided if Market Basket is still in business, but Arthur T's going to buy Market Basket. I know he will. My third and final video blog of the night is about Baseball Hall of Fame player, the late Phil Rizzuto. Phil Rizzuto was a shortstop for the New York Yankees for 13 years, but he's better known for being a legendary broadcaster for the New York Yankees for 40 years on WPIX TV Channel 11 in New York. And his famous quote was, Holy cow! Phil played for the Yankees for 13 years back in the 1940s and 50s. He was a pretty good shortstop. Five times he made the AL All-Star team. Seven times he was a World Series champion. His best year was in 1950 when he won the AL MVP. He batted 324, had 200 hits and 125 runs during that season. And also in 1950, Phil was the first mystery guest on the classic Goodson Todman game show, What's My Line? And Phil's career stats was two, he batted 273, 1,588 hits, 563 RBIs. He was one of the best bunters of all time. He liked to play the small ball, great fielding shortstop, turned 1,217 double plays, had a 968 fielding, plus, um, fielding average during his career. He retired after the 1956 season. In 1957, he started his 40 year run as a broadcaster for the New York Yankees on WPIX TV 11 in New York. He broadcasted more seasons on New York Yankees baseball than any announcer. That's including the famous Mel Allen, who Mel was known as the voice of the Yankees, but Phil had was longer, five, year, five years longer than Mel Allen. Um, Phil also had, like, he called some of the most famous games in Yankees history. The 1961 when Roger Maris hit his 61st home run, which broke the record for the most home runs in the season at the time. He called the 1976 ALCS Championship Game 5 where Chris Chambliss hit a home run to end uh, the world, the, the, the well, I mean, uh, championship series. So the Yankees made their first World Series in 12 years. Also, he called the 1978 AL playoff game between the Yankees and the Red Sox at Fenway Park when Bucky Dent hit a home run. He also called the infamous Pine Tar home run game in 1983 when George Brett hit that home run. He also called Tom Seaver's 300 career game in 1985, and he called Derek Jesus' first home run in 1996. Phil was a very enthusiastic announcer. He said some so many quotes, especially holy cow. And he was also a spokesman for the money store for over 20 years. He also hosted his like five, I mean, five minute sports show on the CBS radio network for 21 years called Phil Rizzuto on Sports. He actually called the 1964 World Series on NBC radio with Joe Garziola. And in 1976, he called the World Series game on NBC. He was the last one of the that that was the last time that NBC used local announcers for a telecast on the World Series. Phil had very enthusiastic. He was a great baseball announcer. 1994, he was finally inducted into to the Baseball Hall of Fame as on the Veterans Committee as shortstop, and he deserved it because he was a, one of the best fielding shortstops of all time. His number 10 was retired by the New York Yankees in 1985. He retired from broadcasting after the 1996 season, and he basically 
retired, he showed up at autograph sessions here and there for many years until his declining health in 2005 and 2006. He passed away on August 13th, 19, um, 2007, 12 years after the 12 years to the exact same day as y Yankees legend Mickey Mantle passed away. Phil Rizzuto was one of the best um, announcers of all time with the enthusiasm and the holy cow, he's missed dearly and he should she should win the Ford Frick Award for Broadcasting Excellence posthumously. He's, he was one of the best baseball announcers of all time. Okay, I'll be back tomorrow for more of these video blogs, at least three more. One of them's going to be the top 10 greatest players in Montreal Canadiens history. Then Thursday will be the top 10 players of all time in the Toronto Maple Heat Leafs history. Then I'm starting to work on the top 10 players of other teams. I have like the Edmonton Oilers and the New York Islanders all set for for future video blogs because I'm going to be starting to do the teams who probably won the most, most Stanley Cups after the original six teams. Okay, I'll see you later. Facebook friends and YouTube followers. Bye.